So we're looking at uh, some of the popular poker players in the world, online, best players. We're going to start off with Durr, Tom Dwan. Uh, if you remember my big blind rate, over 3,100 hands is 7.27. Um, you know, I'll need to play a lot more hands to prove that I can maintain that. And it keeps logging me out. Bastards. What is wrong with you, PTR? If you ever see this video, I just had to log in for the third time. <laughs> okay. Tom Dwan. Now, he plays a lot of mixed games, which, um, last time I checked, are not tracked by Poker Tracker, so his career online win rate might be higher than this, but. 2.37. He did really, really good and went from 0 to 9 million, and then he crashed and burned to about 1.5 million against Isolder, and then he kind of broke even for a while, and then won again, and then he started dropping to 5.5 million, which isn't that bad, but it's. He was at 9 million, so imagine, could you imagine losing, gosh, four and a half million dollars, <laughs> and then and then having to live with that? But his rating is still pretty good, and I can not imagine. Well, I hope to one day play his stakes, but we're gonna look at um. We're gonna find Phil Ivy. Wow, Isolder is playing again. Isolder uh, went from like uh, seven million, seven and a half million, whatever it was, from zero to that to Busto, <laughs> and uh, it looks like he uh, got a hold of some money. So he's number 11 on the top search list. Phil Ivy is 13. Durr was number four on the list. See, every time I go to a new page, it's making me log in again. Killing me. Come on. And then I gotta go back to the players list. And then I gotta click on the IV again. Man, this web PTR, your website is messed up. I just logged in, you pieces of crap. I might switch over to Firefox, maybe Google Chrome. It's not working. Alright, if it makes me log in one more time, let's try going straight to a, a Zygmunt before we go to Phil Ivy. There we go. Alright, he sucks. He's a losing player. Negative one point something. Alright, please let me go to Phil Ivy's page. There we go. One of the best online players in the world he is on fire. And he has he has one of the top uh, big blind out of 100 win rates, 5.42, and he kind of, for the longest time, <clears throat> he kind of broke even. I mean, it looks like he's breaking even, but this is actually two million dollars. But I mean, compared to his overall <laughs> bankroll, and he dropped back down again. So he broke even from February of 08 to August 09. And then he just ran like God, all the way up to five million. <clears throat> and then he just started breaking even again. And now he's kind of still broken even, but he's in at five and a half million uh, off of the, the ma majority of the games that Poker Table Ratings track. They don't track uh, the, the high stakes mixed games and some other games. So his 
his earnings could be a lot higher, it could be a lot less. But yeah, 5.42 for No Limit Hold'em in Omaha. And then I, so far, am 7.27, so, so far doing better than Phil Ivey, the best, one of the best players in the world. And then we'll, we'll take a look at Nananoku, Randy Liu. He he's turned uh, he started off with the 25 cent tables and turned a couple hundred dollars into one almost 1.9 million now. He's number nine on the search list, and he has like the best graph ever in the history of poker table ratings. This is what I want I want want my graph to look like. It's just a straight up line. Right here is when he uh, became Poker Stars Pro and he started playing Pablo in Omaha. So he, dro he dropped down a little, but then he went back to winning. And then he kind of screwed his graph by playing some some mixed games in Omaha again. But then he went, you know, he went right back to No Limit Hold'em. Straight graph. Earnings 1.8 million. Oh, he's on fire and is, but his big blind out of 100 rating is only 2.89 which the reason it's that low well that's not really low that's really good obviously since he's a millionaire but he uh... you know he plays up to 20 tables at a time so his you know his skill level drops a little bit i bet you if he played um... four tables at a time that his win rate would be uh... more like mine over seven. <clears throat> but uh, about Randy Liu, I remember reading on Poker Stars that for a while Table Ninja was banned, and and uh, he was still using it, and uh, and uh, I read somewhere that Poker Tracker was banned also. And he was, and uh, he was a Poker Star sponsored player. I, I might just be blowing smoke here, but if someone wants to correct me, but yeah, he was a sponsored player, and he was still using both software uh, to gain an advantage, you know, to help him make all, all the money he makes. And uh, I just checked their website the other day, and both software are. Uh, now acceptable. If someone, like I said, if someone wants to let me know that it's always been acceptable, maybe I just misread it wrong. But I'm pretty sure I looked at the allowed list and the not allowed list, and I'm pretty sure I saw Poker Tracker, and I I know for a fact I saw Table Ninja on there. I don't know. I might be wrong. I remember that guy, uh, Boku87, uh, was using Table Ninja. It's really helpful software because it, it can auto. If you're multi tabling, it presses the clock button for you so you so your time doesn't run out, and then it, it auto sizes your bets for you. So it's, it's about as close to being a poker bot as you can get if you program a Table Ninja right. And then when you're using Poker Tracker or Hold a Manager on top of that, you're pretty you're pretty much a poker bot. You're pretty much <clears throat> playing perfect poker if you know how to uh, play with the stats. So that's why online poker is is so hard once you get to the higher levels because everyone is using the software. Everyone knows about it, but. Um, Nobody's perfect, so if you can be better at using the stats and knowing other play players' tendencies, then you can take someone down. That's how uh, Isolder was taken down. A group of people uh, from Full Tilt uh, studied his weaknesses, and then, you know, let's look at him.